Sector. I want to quickly cut across to our guests and my colleague, Nalini Sharma. She's the head of our legal bureau, India Today TV. Akshay Marathe, national spokesperson, Amadni Party. R.P. Singh, national spokesperson, BJP. Ashutosh, author and political analyst. Nalini, would you, you know, before we go to our political guests, quickly break down uh, on uh, what the judgment was today. It was also very scathing when it comes down to the lower courts and the issue of bail. Well, yes, Preeti, the judgment was pretty much on expected lines because even the last time around, even though bail was denied to Manish Sisodia then, the Supreme Court had categorically given a time limit to the Enforcement Directorate to complete the trial. The fact that the trial has not even begun in the case, let alone being completed, so the judgment was on expected lines, which is why Manish Sisodia had once again come back to the Supreme Court asking for bail. But like you correctly pointed out, the most important aspect of this judgment was the observation that the court has made regarding grant of bail by the High Court and the lower courts. And this is where I think that the judgment can actually impact Arvind Kejriwal's case as well, because the Supreme Court has actually encouraged the trial courts and the High Court to not play it safe when it comes to the matter of bail. And remember the fact that bail is the rule and jail is only an exception, especially when we are talking about public personalities like Manisha Sodia, like Arvind Kejriwal, people who cannot run away from right. the country, people who are very much in the public eye, it is important that they are granted bail in such cases, which is what the Supreme Court has said. So there is no doubt going to be an impact of the case on the Arvind Kejriwal case. How soon we can expect that is something that still remains to be seen. Akshay Marathe, the Amadmi party is claiming moral victory, but the BJP and even the courts are quick to remind you that it's not on the merits of the case, but entirely on the fact that the trial hasn't started now, number one. Number two, because you know we're running short of time, I want to quickly get a word in from all guests. Akshay Marathe, if you'd also like to address, what is the thinking on the role of Manish Sisodia now? Preeti, first of all, I want to say this is a big day for me personally. It happens to be my birthday. And this is one of the Happy best birthday. birthday gifts that I could have gotten in a, in a long time. I've celebrated many a birthdays with Mr. Manish Sisodia in his residence. And I'm extremely happy that he's finally come out after 17 months. Now, why is Manish Sisodia so important to Aam Aadmi Party? It, he's so important because he is the face of the brand of our education reforms. What is Ahmadni Party known for around the country? It is known for its government school reform. <clears throat> it has been the personal passion project of Manish Ji to every day, every morning, he would wake up at 6 a.m., he would visit schools in, across Delhi. He would personally look at reforming every little detail, whether it's teacher training, whether it's you know children's midday meals, whether it's the infrastructure. And that is what spooks the Bharati Janata Party about Manish Sisodia being out on, on bail because they know that the moment that he's back in place as the education minister of Delhi, Aam Aadmi Party's brand of education gets strengthened further and the destructive model that the LG <clears throat> is using to scuttle the reforms that the Aam Aadmi Party government has launched will come to an end because Manish Sisodia, remember, has a very long history of working with the education bureaucracy of Delhi. He has worked for 10 years with every single education administrator, whether it's at the lowest levels of teachers, principals, vice principals, education uh, department officials, education secretaries. He has that administrative acumen. He has that vision to actually get reforms back on track, even if the LG may come in the way. So I personally believe that Mr. Okay. Sudhya will play an important role when he comes back, uh, comes out. And of course, the party will make that decision. And I'm very happy. The whole country should be happy because if you are if you are interested in the future of this country, education is the way to do it. And Mr. Sisodia represents that uh, today in our country. He represents the promise of public education. All right. Uh, you know, R.P. Singh, you might say that this is pure procedure and it's not on the merits of the case. He still is an accused. It's not an acquittal. But uh, at least perception-wise, the Aam Aadmi Party is building it as a massive moral victory. And the courts have been rather scathing on the lower courts, not giving bail. Well, Preeti, thank you so much. And Akshay Marathe, uh, we, uh, congratulations to you for your birthday. May God bless you much more, uh, many more birthdays also. And also, I'll send you better blessings from uh, Bangla Sahib today. I'll, I'll take the number and take your address and ensure that the blessing from Bangla Sahib comes to you today. But coming to the point, uh, he spoke about the uh, educational model. Uh, I will just read out one line from the Justice Manmohan, uh, who is the acting Chief Justice of Delhi, April 9th, uh, he in the uh, court proceeding when he called the Education Secretary about the education 
uh, the way the schools are being run. He said you are sp not supposed to just publish announcements in newspaper. That schools are hunky dory. There are 144 children in one classroom. This is very sad state of affair. And also further going on, the the education secretary said, we know sir, we are running schools in ten buildings. We have two sections. We are all at times being made in a single two sections are being run from single classroom. This is not me. This is the court proceedings. I, I read it out. So they can keep just something about the uh, 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 education model, but the fact is on ground people know how they are suffering. Uh, this year itself, I've been told more than one lakh children were withheld uh, from the ninth standard from being promoted to tenth standard because they failed twice in the ninth standard. And same was the case with the eleventh standard children who uh, more than one lakh children were withheld because of their uh, bad results and they were not promoted twelfth standard. But coming to the subject of the uh, bail. Uh, they are saying ki humne sach ki jeet ho gai, sachai ki jeet ho gai. What sort of jeet? 10 lakh rupees surety, 10 lakh rupees uh, bond, put two sureties, 30 lakh rupees. Every Monday and Thursday you have to visit the uh, police station. Your passport has been impounded. Who, what, do you understand? Who all are being given bail on such conditions? What sort of people are being given bail on such conditions? Please ask your legal correspondent or ask your crime correspondent to tell you that who, which, what level of criminals are given such uh, uh, stringent conditions are laid for, to, uh, for uh, bail, okay. uh, for the people who get bail. Can in I quickly uh, respond? Cases. So, but no, giving, uh, giving, to coming finish. to the other point, coming to the other point, I'm coming to the other point, okay, another second. Come to the other point that they, they keep just thumping again and again that, oh, uh, that there is no money trail, there is no money trail. I'm leaving out a bank account today for your viewers also. One zero double two zero one triple zero four six four seven. You go bank, this has been mentioned in the ED's chart sheet, the which ED has filed in the court. Okay. Obviously, I mean, once the ED files in the court, uh, they, can't get, okay. they can't take it back. I mean, money trail is there. But on thing is, you know, RP Singh, that's for the trial. For the trial. Okay, no, no. This is what the charge sheet says. It's for a trial to conclude and figure out whether Arvind, uh, whether Arvind Kejriwal or even Manish Sisodia is guilty or not. Um, Akshay, I know you want to come in but for a rebuttal, but I want to bring in Ashutosh into this uh, conversation as well. Ashutosh, you've been a dear friend of Manish Sisodia. I'm glad you'd see him come out. But uh, the question I ask you, which is political, um, the Aam Aadmi Party has had its back to the wall and fighting. How do you think this will impact? You're on mute, Ashutosh. Uh, Priti, frankly speaking, I don't think it is going to uh, uh, to qualitatively change the political situation in the in Delhi, neither for the Ahmadi Party, not for the BJP, not for the for the for, for anybody else. But here, the bigger question is beyond beyond education, and that is what we should be debating here. The issue is is, is the soul of the constitution, that is liberty. And the Manish Sishodia is getting bail after 17 months is a travesty of justice. He should have got bail almost a year back, which he did not get. Who should be blamed for this? Enforcement Directorate, lower courts, higher courts, or the Supreme Court? That is what is the most important thing is here. The Supreme Court, after 17 months, is saying that uh, liberty, how can you keep somebody in jail without uh, the, the, the case being in, uh, going for the trial? But Supreme Court has, uh, Manish Sodia has gone back to the Supreme Court long back. Then, then Supreme Court didn't, didn't uh, look into the matter and then decide that his liberty is being right. sacrificed. Right. So today the issue is, in, in Arnes Kumar versus Bihar case, Supreme Court has, 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 has came out with a guideline that if somebody has to be put in jail by the, uh, by the I.O., he has to give in writing. If the court is denying bail, it has to be given in writing. Despite Supreme Court guideline, case after okay. case, case after case, people are not getting bail, only jail, Supreme Court has to crack the whip on the okay. court if they are not uh, right. uh, following the Supreme Court's dictates. All right. Okay. You know, I, um, I apologize to all our guests because we've run out of time. Primarily, a lot of breaking news regarding our, uh, Manish Sisodia walking out uh, on bail. We're going to leave it at that, but in days to come, I am sure this is going to be a hot topic of discussion. We'll revisit it. Thank you for watching.